Hi, hello everyone, and welcome back to Niche! We're back on this island, and I have realised something. Um, this one is supposed to take us to sort of like, um... I'm not really sure, but apparently... <laughs> we're supposed to be going to this island instead. We're supposed to be going up, and then if there's no up port, then we're supposed to go, um, to the right. Well, obviously, there is an upwards port, so... <laughs> I am actually going to make sure that we send our um, next creatures this way and from the looks of it, it looks so much harder and I'm really nervous about it. I think it might be another jungle so I think we might have to like run through there as quickly as possible because that does not sound like fun to stay in. Um, but anyway, since last time I have actually named all of the babies that were born which was a lot so <laughs> all these creatures on our... Um, family tree they're everywhere there's loads of them so we have frappe who is the daughter of latte and jacks um then we have iris who is the daughter of cinder and yarrow Fal fallow i think it's fallow um who is the daughter of stag and Celine. then we have snowdrop who is jasmine and stags delilah who is peony and almonds who almond has now passed away unfortunately um, then we have, oh, I really like her colour though, like her like orangey sort of um, pattern. They're both supposed to be brown, but like for some reason she just, it's quite orange. Not sure why. Um, but I think Ginger had that as well, which is, um, I thought it was one of their mothers, but never mind. It's not. Um, then we have Domino, who is Yoro and Cinder's son and then we have Ren who is Caramel and Sparrow's son and Caramel has now passed away as well so they won't be having any more siblings which sucks. Um, Hibiscus who is a lot like um, Delilah actually um, is Peony and Almond's daughter as well, they're siblings which makes sense and then we have Toffee who is the one with the, the awesome scorpion tail I can't remember which ones I've introduced last time, so I'm just going to go through all of them. I think I've introduced these guys before, but then we have Water Lily and Axis, and then we have Espresso, who is this new little baby boy that we had, um, I think this run, I'm not sure. And then we have Mocha, who is, again, Latte and Jax's daughter, Frappe, and Coco, and Heron. There we go, that's every single one. Oh, and Heron is the actual, is actually the only daughter... Or well, the only child so far that we have from Nixie um, and Lark, which is quite cool. It's the first child, and Nixie is already pregnant again, which is good. Um, this little plant grew back, so I actually did move. The, um, did I call her Delilah? I meant Dahlia. I don't think I called her Dahlia before. Um, but yeah, I moved her over quickly because this um, plant was in the way, and I also moved Frappe over as well. Um, the plant is dangerous still so I want to keep them away from that so I have moved them over a little bit and then I, I haven't seen any birds so far on this island so she should be fine to stay there by on her own for a little bit um and then today is actually a latte no not latte, sorry Jax's last day so we need to breed latte and Jax one more time one final time oh somebody has Somebody has a leech, but I don't know who it is. Let's have a look. Is that hibiscus? No. Oh, it's Heron! No! Heron's got a leech. Well, her mother can quickly pick that one off for her. There we go. Um, and obviously before, I made sure that um, Nixie had a nest here. Because it was right next to the port. But the port we're going to go to now is this one. So we might have to move everyone up and over. So I'm going to get access to hopefully get over there without having to bump into any of those gross plant thingies that are going to swallow them up so I'm going to try and get everyone to make their way over there um, because Stag do you have I don't remember if it's, his mates are still up no yes Stag and his uh, mates are all the exact same age and I think I said before that I wasn't going to breed them again so I think I won't breed them again and I'll get them to start making their way over. I just had a weird noise. Was it somebody eating from this thing? I'm not sure. I heard a weird noise and I'm pretty sure it was that, but I'm not sure. Oh, and this is the bunny eating from here. It might have been. Let's grab that one. 
And then I wonder if the Wanderer passed away because I'm pretty sure that she was quite young. So I thought that she would have been alive for quite a long time. So I don't know. I don't know where she is. I wonder if she's still around anywhere. Uh, and then I'm going to get Nixie to um, have another baby as well. Um, because how long does Lark have left? Lark still only has six days left. Um, and they do have quite important genes, I guess, like C and K. And then Cinder and... who's your mate? Yarrow. Yarrow's only got two days left. Cinder's got a little bit longer. So I might actually get her to come over here. Oh, jump in that nest, there we go. <laughs> Just to have her baby a little bit closer to the way that we are actually heading. Rather than having to get all these little babies that can't walk very fast over there. And then poor, Deli poor Dahlia. I'm going to have to get used to saying that because I'm used to saying, calling somebody Delilah. Dahlia is going to take a long time to get over there and I feel bad for her. I hope it doesn't take her too long though. I really hope not. And then Hibiscus, I'm just going to get to start making her way over as well. Jax can stay with um, his last son. Is that his only son? Oh no, Coco. Oh my gosh, of course. Where is Coco? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, Espresso doesn't have poison fangs. I didn't even notice that before. Like his sister Frappe. I didn't notice that. <gasps> oh. That's interesting. The rest of them, the other two do, which is good. Um, I can get Moko to come out of the nest. But luckily can get a little bit further than that old nest. So I might get Peony to... Peony's got one last baby. So I'm going to get her to just keep going because her mate's passed away already. So she can keep heading as far as possible. Although to be fair, Latte could have also gone a little bit further. But I guess we've got a ton of babies that have got to make their way over anyway. It's not going to hurt to have another one over there. And then Jasmine I'm going to get to just follow... Oh, her mate stag over there I'm also going to try and get everyone else to try and accompany their children and then Cascade where's your mate? who's your mate? Yuka they haven't had a baby have they? no this is their first ever child so we've got to be really careful okay that should be good I don't think I can smell or anything any more of these things but we still do have to be careful when running into the unknown sort of areas and then Yaro has um, only two days left as well and his mate is all the way up here anyway so we can get him to start getting closer to her Sparrow who's your mate hasn't your pa your mate's passed away hasn't she that was caramel wasn't it yeah so Sparrow's mate has passed away as well which sucks um, so we can start getting him to lead the way as well Um, and then, what else can we do? Nixie's still here, so Lark can stay. I'm going to get him to roll around in some mud as well. And then let's get all of the children to try and make their way up as well. Toffee isn't very fast. Oh, I can still hear that noise, and I still am pretty sure it's probably a wanderer in there. I want to see if those things go down anymore. And then Yuka is mates with Cascade, and Cascade's already made her way up, so I'm going to start getting him to go up as well. There we go. That's not going to take us too long to get over there. We can clear like a nice big pathway, so that it's not going to take too long for everyone else to get up there as well. Oh, that's the last day. Okay, cool. Next day. <gasps> We've had twins. I've just spotted twins. <gasps> Uh-oh, and there's a nasty, nasty plant here, so... Ah! It's taking poor Heron! We're gonna have to get Lark to come over and help. There we go. Okay, good. She has not been injured. I did not realise that there was gonna be a plant growing from there. We are gonna have to get away from here. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's get everyone else to start heading up as well. Is that a bad plant as well? No, that's a good plant. Okay, we can eat from that one. And we've had twin boys. I don't know if they're identical or not, but they... No, they're not. You can see by the stripe on their heads, they're not identical. But they are very cute. Do they both have back claws as well? I think Cascade does. Oh, she doesn't. She does not have that. Okay. Is that... 
termite hill bad? No, the termite hill's good as well. Okay, interesting. Well, Toffee can't run very far, so I'm gonna try and get her to um, start heading off already. <gasps> oh, a berry bush. That's very good. We can start picking from that as well. Celine only has one day left, so we might as well just get her to pick from that bit. And then the others that only have one day left, which is Yarrow. I'm gonna get him to start making his way up. And then Sparrow as well, because he doesn't have a mate, so I'm not too worried about them passing away if in the nicest way possible. Um, and then Jasmine only has one day left as well, so we're gonna have to say goodbye to Jasmine as well. Wow, we're gonna have three deaths this round. Um, I said I was gonna keep a Frappe here, so I'm just gonna keep her there. Maybe we can get Dahlia to start making her way up. And poor little Espresso's on his own because Jack's passed away. And oh no! Another baby's been born with. Oh dang it, okay. And the gene we really wanted from them was the star gene, I'm pretty sure, which we've got um, a mocha for, which is good. I think mocha's okay to be the one to come with us. So we can start getting her to head up as well. Water Lily is grown up, which is great. And then Coco, I'm not sure if he's going to come with us or not, but he can start helping make the way over there as well. Peony, um, her mate's gone as well, isn't it? Yeah, Almond's passed away, so I'm just going to get her to get as close as um, possible to um, the next port before she has her final baby. Just in case that baby is really important and we really want to take it. It just means we, we um, don't take as long. Um, to get her over there. And then Yuka. Yuka's mates with Cascade and they've had their first two twins which is good. What what genes do we want from them? H and F. She has H and F. What does um oh gosh go away. What does um where is he? I can't find him on the thing. It's not Yoro, it's it's Yuka, but I can't find him. Oh he's down here, okay. G and K and H and F. I don't know which gene we wanted from her. Was it the H gene? I don't know. Oh no, we've got a glitch and they're all, they're, they're stuck. I've heard this happen before. I hope that when we leave and re-enter the game that it fixes it, but I've had it before where a bunch of the um, creatures get stuck on one part of the family tree, basically. <laughs> Um, maybe the H gene? I'm not sure. Okay, I just can't remember where I was- why I specifically brought her. If there's a gene we specifically needed from them. But I will breed them again, and then she can get further on. Oh, she could have gone in that nest there. But she can go further on so that she gets, um, closer to the port with the baby. And is that everyone? No, Latte, Hibiscus and everyone is still here. I'm gonna get Latte to start making her way up still. She doesn't have Jax anymore so she probably should stay with her babies but you know. And I think Frappe, yeah, gonna be an adult now. Oh it's raining, yes, good, good, good. We've got time to get more food. Um, We need to get these guys away from this plant so I'm gonna get her to get rid of that. And then I'm gonna get um, Lark, who only has four days left, to breed with her. And then, then I think they can have four kids. Oh no, three after today. I think, depending on if we have one every single day. Hopefully we will. And then I'm just gonna get them to pick from that bush. Oh no, the bush is gone. Just get her to have a little explore down there. Um, Espresso, you've got some strength. Yeah, there you go. And then Dahlia has finally caught up with everyone else from her family, which is good. So we don't have to worry about her taking too long to catch up with everyone else. Hibiscus. Wow, we have a lot of creatures. We've got 28 creatures. Wow. We don't have much food left, actually. Speaking of. Our food is running quite low. And then Cinder's mate was Yara, right? And then Yara passed away, which is okay.
We've just got Cascade. Who can actually come on here. And there's some there's a there's a tree with um nuts over there, which if Nixie can make it in time, she can start um picking from picking from those as well, because she's the only one with um uh nimble fingers, so she's the only one that can um crack them open from the old generation. We've obviously got Heron and I think oh no, Heron is the only one that has it so far. But they've only had two kids so far, so we don't have to worry about them too much. Then we have Peony, who, if she can make it up to that little guy's nest up there, I almost put her in that terrifying um, plant. I mean, if they did, Toffee is quite strong. So it wouldn't be too worrisome, but we don't want to risk it. Just in case. A very small chance that they do... Um, do not get out. And then I can get Yuka to get rid of that one. And he can start making his way over to his uh, mate, Cascade. The twins can... Uh, if Iris moves over, then this one can move down. And then Toffee can start making her way up as well. And so can Ren. Why is Ren hurt? Did Ren get caught by one of these plants? Is that why he's hurt? Um, but otherwise I'm going to keep him picking from those bushes. And then Heron can start making her way up as well. And Latte, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to keep her there. I don't know whether, whether we should eat the, the sticky fruits or not. Because if we get some sort of creature that can smell, they'll be able to smell that one creature that's got this sticky fruit on them. Which would not be good. Um, but let's get Mocha up as well, along with Hibiscus. And then last I could just get rid of that one. I think that's everyone, okay. Um, well, we've got 28 creatures so far. I don't know if we've got any creatures that are about to pass away, but um, some of them are due to pass away very soon. I know that Sparrow is probably the oldest one now, I think. Um, and then after they've all had their babies, which would hopefully be by um, next episode, I think. Because I think Lark is actually the la the youngest male we've got. Um, which would mean that we have no more babies after that. We'll have to decide on who is going to come with us to this island, which I believe has 10 ports. So we're going to have to pick between like 25 of our creatures. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to do that next time. We'll have to decide on who's coming and who's not next time. But otherwise, um, I'm gonna end this one here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!